Contract activity remained really strong for the second week in a row and a look at impact of rising inventory levels nationally. We're covering that and more in this week's report. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes to join us for our weekly look at real-time market insights into our local housing market. My name is Scott Parker. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing here at John Green Realtor, and I'll be taking you through this week's findings. So here's new listing activity. We had a little drop off after a nice two week pickup there. Let's go over and look at contract activity. We had a big spike last week and contract activity held up in proportion to the level of the new listing activity we saw last week. So that just tells us the market remains very strong and active as we head into May. Here's a look at inventory nationally. And we're seeing the same trend nationally as inventory has creeped up a bit uh, by about 2% and pending sales have outpaced that at about 3%. So not just a local phenomenon, but a national one that we're undersupplied compared to the demand that exists in the marketplace. A quick note that there's no traffic data this week as it appears there may have been an error in the data. So we'll come back uh, next week with that. Here's off market activity, which represents those active listings that decided to come off the market without successfully selling. And, and that's a great forward looking indicator number for us if we see any uh, movement in the number. We saw a little bit last week, but that number bounced back down a bit after uh, that spike last week. So uh, nothing out of the ordinary here. Basically, sellers putting their homes on the market are finding buyers. Under contract versus new listing. So this graph and the next one kind of depict balance in the market. We say 60% is, is normal balance on a chart like this. 100% is way out of balance. In a perfect world, we see this number continue to trend down as, as more inventory hits the market like we saw these past two weeks. But this is indicative of the fact that demand just continues to outpace supply even when we get a uh, uptick in supply. So here we had an off market activity. So you can see the total number of listings on the market relative to the total number that left the market. And same trend here, lower off market activity this past week bolsters this metric this week. And to recap, contract activity remains strong for the second week in a row and a slightly rising inventory levels nationally leads to more pending contracts. The market is active and healthy as we move through the peak spring market. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you again next week.